Hey everyone, so let's say you had this large code base and you wanted to do some deep research in it. There's not a lot of tools that can help you with this, especially for like clever and very complex deep research tasks. What I want to show you here is how I'm using Codex CLI connected with a specific MCP tool to be able to do this deep research task to gather information about specific code bases. I already set up my MCP here that I'm using. I'm using OpenAware, which is a project from Kodo. So this is related to Kodo Aware and they nicely package a bunch of MCP tools that I can use to do deep research on large code bases. And so this is how you can set this up within Codex. And so here I have the task running already. What I'm asking Codex is use the open aware deep research tool. So it's going to be this deep research tool. There are a bunch of tools that are packaged with open aware. It needs to use the deep research one specifically to perform a deep research on this Llama index repo. I do a lot of teaching on RAG applications and I also do a lot of consulting. So one thing that I'm always on the lookout for, for what are the best practices on the tips and insights and recommendations on how to scale these RAG applications. And so if I'm using tools like Llama index, which is one of those tools that I use, I want to understand what are the tips, insights and recommendations on how to index large data sets at scale for efficient retrieval with Llama index. And so the idea is that I want to share this as a report or a guide to my junior AI devs, what this deep research agent is going to do is going to go and look at the code base, right? So there are different ways how you can do this. You can use a search tool like ChatGPT using search. You can download this repo as well and do the search on the repo, but then that will include some manual work. And some other ways you can do this is you go directly and search the docs, but then the docs get outdated. So the right approach to this would be to actually go and search over the code base exactly. That's going to be your ground truth. It should be your ground truth. And so I want to pull all the insights directly from the code base. So this is what Codo Aware is all about. So it's allowing you to do deep research in a very convenient way, basically through MCPs. And so you can use it in Codex, you can use it in Cloud Code, you can use it in Windsurf, whatever you can plug in MCP tools, you can use this tool. And so I want to really show you the results because, I mean, this is really amazing how comprehensive the reports are. It's incredibly powerful if you're prompting it correctly. And it's unlike anything that I've used before. I mean, I've used a lot of deep research tools like ChatGPT and so on, but searching over code base is just a different beast on its own. So I want to show you here the results. It finished working here. And so it has called the open deep research. You can see it there, right? So this is the open aware tool. So we did get some response here. That's directly searching the Llama index code base. And then here it has a report. So let's look at this. So this is now looking at the architecture, right? What's the core idea? It's a very complex report. And then it says ingestion and persistence. So use a pipeline with caching and a doc store to avoid reprocessing. These are tips that you want to know about, right? But if you're getting started with this tool, and if you look at the tutorial, you might not be aware of these tips. And so that's why I want to search on top of that updated code base, right? Because I also don't want outdated code or outdated suggestions too. And so here is the suggestion on ingestion and persistence, right? Number of workers. Again, this is all about scaling. So there's a ton of really good recommendations here. So create the pipeline here, right? This is how you would create a pipeline. You can use parallelism as well. Um, okay, this is the persistent stuff. Then on the chunking side, you'll do a lot of chunking on this. So generally, you want to start with this, right? Chunk size between this and this. Then chunk overlap, usually it's within that range. Then you have the semantics aware splitter and so on. So a lot of really good recommendations. All of this is coming from the deep research agent that's doing all the analysis for us. So here it's more about the batch size. So also batch vector store upserts. That's, I think, a great suggestion. This is something that you want to be aware of. And so that was pulled as an insight here as well. So this is more on the vector store and index building, how you want to build it, right? You want to build a pipeline and so on. So persistence, async versus parallel. So it gives you some analysis on that. And metadata and filters. So these are all your metadata and filters that you want to be aware of. So this is more about retrieval optimization because there's also optimization on the retrieval side too. So how you might do that, right? Using different parameters like similarity top K and so on. So there's a lot of these things here. And also there's a mention on re-rank as well. How do you want to use re-rank and query planning and routing anti-patterns, skipping the doc store dedupe unnecessary re-embedding and duplicate vectors. And here are the reference patterns. Essentially, it's pointing to like different parts of the code base, vector store streaming, right? So query engine filters re-rank. And essentially how this works is like, this is really good context 
for when you're starting out this project. Now you have something like this, and then now you can just simply just write this to some kind of you know memory file, something like an agents.md, whatever it is that you're using for memory. So I will just say it here as an example, store the entire guide as a raw.md here. So just store it right here. This is where I'm storing anything related to Llama index. So I'm just going to hit enter here. And now Codex will be able to write that entire thing as some notes in my folder. Okay, so it seems that it wrote that file. I'll just go look for that file now. We have the report right here. I use Obsidian for all my notes. So it's nicely previewed here in Markdown. So you can see here, junior developers building production ready, large scale rag indexing and retrieval within index. So all of this context, right? The architecture overview, the ingestion persistent. This is how you build really good context for your coding agents. This is a really powerful concept. And I think a lot of people should be experimenting with this. You can see that it even has some code example here that you can start with. So that's really nice. I didn't see that initially. So this is about the embeddings, right? It has some nice scripts here that I can start to use. So here's the metadata filters. Again, it's giving you codes on how to use it. And here's the retrieval opt optimization, how you can scale your retriever. I query planning and routing as well. Some ideas on that, observability. The anti-pattern stuff I think is really interesting here. So like huge embedding batches, for instance, OOM or throttling, size to provider limits, reference patterns. So I can tune the deep research report. I can be more specific about what I want. I can also follow up to open a weir. And it has a bunch of tools that you can use so you can be more specific about a specific topic. From all the tools that I've used, and I've used a lot of deep research agents, I've even built my own with cloud code sub agents, but it doesn't come any close to this. There's so many advantages and good things from using something like OpenAware. And so I encourage everyone to try it out. I'll share the link below and let me know if you have any questions and I'll continue to do more research on this and share my findings. See you all in the next one.